Hey y'all, I'm Angela, plain old Zach's wife. I've always wanted to visit the South, and the fact that I get to be a part of the epic minivan adventure is, well, epic. I got to shop and dine at stores and restaurants I'd only ever heard of or read about as a California girl. I met family, made new friends, and saw more lush greenery than I'd imagined. I'm not gonna lie, I might have embarrassed Zach a few times because I'm so excited and fascinated with all things Southern. Okay, so maybe that's not a Southern thing, but it hasn't hit San Diego yet and I got excited. The South did not disappoint, y'all. In an awesome turn of fate, our minivan was ready to be picked up the same weekend as the Kenimer family reunion. Zach's great-grandmother Opal is a descendant of the very proud Kenimer family who has well-documented genealogical records. We even found Zach's family in the Kenimer book. We were fortunate enough to visit the Kenimer trading post and have a long chat with owner and fellow Kenimer, Cheryl. Check out her handmade creations. Isn't she talented, y'all? I forgot to ask how much these cost. Hmm, probably a buck a head. <laughs> <laughs> it was an honor to help Zach find the graves of his five times great-grandparents Levi and Nancy Kenimer and six times great-grandparents Hans and Rachel Kenimer. When the Kenimers heard we came all the way from California, they asked Zach to tell the story of how we came to be in Alabama. I'm a school teacher and I have the summer off and my wife was nice enough to take care of the kids and she said, Zach, go have fun for two weeks. Uh, do what you want to do and make sure you're home by such and such date. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to check out some genealogy sites because it sounds fun to me. So I, we, I traveled through the north, the Pacific Northwest because that's where some of my family are from, and then I came across Montana on down uh, by Indiana, and I'm coming down to Canada Cove to see it for the first time about a month ago, and I get to Tennessee, and a gentleman unfortunately hit my van and knocked me out of commission. And so I was stuck in Tennessee for uh, over the July 4th weekend. And then I uh, found out that the car wasn't going to be ready for about a month. And I had to get myself home. So I never got to see the coat. Turns out this week I got a phone call saying, your van's ready. It's time to come get it. <laughs> and drive it back to San Diego. Mind you, I'm already back at work. So, my wife and I, we hop on a plane, come to Nashville, and I find out this is the weekend of the family reunion. Wow. So, not only do I get to see the Cove, but I also get to see all of you, and I think that's really cool. But this is the weekend that it happened. I checked off so many bucket list items from having actual Southern sweet tea outside in good company, to shopping at the Piggly Wiggly, to seeing real lightning storms, to singing as many songs as I could think of, and just having fun with Zach on what's also our wedding anniversary weekend. Space camp. Is that where Space Camp is? Space. I always wanted to go to Space Camp when I was a kid. Mailman. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're about to leave Alabama and go into Mississippi. We're in Mississippi. Yay! On our way home, we stopped by Arkansas to visit the graves of our Riggs ancestors, too. It was such an inspiring experience to see what humble beginnings they had. I also have ancestors from Arkansas, so Zach and I have been ancestral neighbors for hundreds of years. No, we aren't related. We checked. This trip was definitely worth braving the heat and humidity. I can't wait to go back and bring our little ones with us. Hi Alyssa, hi Lily, hi Zoe, and to you up in heaven, hey Leo. Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping through the plains. 